hi guys and welcome back to another video so i know it's been a really long time but i'm back now so i figured out why not draw ariana grande today um because i didn't really like the old ariana grande drawing that i drew um I, it kind of looked really bad for me i didn't like it so i figured out why not draw her again um basically i started sketching off and of course i drew some reference lines to help me out now it's time to color in the skin i um took different shades and started comparing them until i found the right ones i didn't actually use the airbrush tool for shading in this video instead i tried something new and i used the painting tool or the painting brush and it was really something new i had fun with the process and i think i got the result i wanted so I used the airbrush tool for, sh for the smudging and I just dragged and dropped colors from the reference photo and if you guys want I will link a color palette that I made um, down in the description just to help you out if you want to use it. I started doing shading on the neck and adding in some details. After that, I started coloring in the dress. Started working um, on the eyes. we are uh, moving on to the lips for the lips i didn't create multiple layers i just dragged and dropped the colors that i see and smudged everything in and then i used the short hair brush and just picked out random colors and drew different strands of hair based on what i see in the reference photo then i added on the lashes and then i started doing the shading on the hands fixing in some stuff that I didn't really like about my um, drawing and adding more details. After fixing some lines that weren't in place, um, I wanted to go an extra mile and I added down the logo of the photo shoot. to add like some sort of design in the background. And this is the result. And all of these brushes are used in today's video and they are linked in the description along with the color palette. Don't forget to watch my last video up there and subscribe. And bye!